With the American people's distaste for Washington seemingly growing by the day, can the federal government be trusted to control the Ebola outbreak? Some politicians are, of course, already in. Among them, Tom Tillis, Republican candidate for Senate in North Carolina, has come out saying, quote, keeping the American people safe must be our nation's top priority, and the White House should immediately ban travel from Liberia, Sierra Leone, and Guinea to contain the spread of Ebola. And Louisiana Governor Bobby Jindal, recently now, within the hour, saying, quote, how exactly would stopping the entry of people potentially carrying the Ebola virus be counterproductive? This seems to be an obvious step to protect public health in the United States. Time for some real talk now. Alan Combs, host of The Alan Combs Show and a Fox News contributor. And Lisa Booth is senior director of the Black Rock Group. Great to see both of you. Hi. Thank Lisa, you. should politics come into the middle of the fight against Ebola? Well, you know, I don't think they should come into the middle of the fight against Ebola. But I, I think let's, let's look at the facts here. So President Obama just two weeks ago had said that the likelihood of Ebola coming to the United States was very slim. And look where we are, right? We just had the first case in the United States history of Ebola. Uh, with Thomas Duncan in, in Dallas. Right. And I think what this comes down to is trust in government. And according to Gallup, 60% of Americans do not trust the federal government, with good reason. I mean, right, so, so does she have a point, Alan? Should we trust the government to actually fix Ebola well, right now? I think there's a point that I think we, just, we don't automatically trust the government, but I certainly trust the people at the CDC who are you physicians do? who know what they're doing, or the Center for Disease Control. Where, by the way, Anthony Fauci of the Infectious Disease Center has pointed out that one of the reasons we're having a problem finding this is because of defunding, of sequestration. Well, that's that hard, actually that's costs, hard to say. It is for me to say. Sequestration. Sequestration, yes. And thank you for correcting. <laughs> it is very hard for me to say because I still object day I to it. The say secret service, so don't uh, there, worry about there it. There you go. But uh, because of sequestration, it's very hard for them to have funded the money they need for this. That's what happened. Okay. It's defunding, well, which has caused well, a problem. I don't know. I, 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 oh, I'm going to ask you the same question. Okay. Do you trust the CDC right now? Do you think we're getting the whole story? No, I don't trust the CDC at all. Let's, let's already look at the CDC's handling it. The federal government has already failed. Been numerous reports of mishandling of this situation from Thomas Duncan being able to go to two different airports into the United States, from failure uh, with the, the quarantining of the family and also children okay. that he came in contact should, who were allowed to go back to their schools. Should the United States stop the flights? Lisa? Yes, absolutely, 100%. And they should look at immigration. Once again, uh, experts have said this is going to stop the ingress and egress of people. It's going to hurt the problem even more by stopping people from going back and forth. When you Why? need to get help there, you need to get people in and out of those countries in order to get them the help they need. Absolutely well, I'm not. sure your approach would mean let's just send a 3,000 more troops to, to West Africa right now. I'd when rather we're send them to South Africa, <laughs> West Africa than send them to Syria or Iraq. It right. would be a much better use of troops. We are going to talk about this more with Bill O'Reilly in just a couple of minutes because he had some very passionate talking points on this very issue. Have a great weekend to the both of you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.